tune. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just testing audio. I was told that some of you couldn't hear me earlier. Now you can hear? All right. Good. My apologies. Well, now we know why you guys weren't making noise. I could have called you all kinds of names and you would have known anything. Oh, man. All right. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get started in just a few moments. Like we said, we go free after the do the grand entrance. We're gonna start dinner and dessert is allowed first. All right, so in some houses, dessert comes first, right? All right, so. Ready to start a, start a wonderful night. Come on now, are you guys ready to start a wonderful night and get a seal no? Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the bridal party. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, coming up first for Pedro and Stephanie! The bride and groom's grand entrance. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Están listos para los novios? No, ya no son novios, son esposos. ¿Verdad que sí? All right, so now, please rise your feet, ladies and gentlemen. We come in and reintroduce you for the second time today. And for those of you guys who don't know, this next song is very appropriate because these two met with the advancement of technology through the internet, of course. The wonders that it does. Brought these two together. So of course, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. As we reintroduce you for the second time today, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Rauda. We all, we all were there at the ceremony, right? And we all witnessed the kiss, right? But you know, you, you're a little nervous, things are going on, so sometimes people get a little conservative at, when the first kiss. But now that we're outside of the quasi-religious experience, of it, that's right, okay? Now we're ready for a real kiss. Not that the other ones didn't count, but now you're a little more relaxed, right? It's about a baile, digo, el beso. All right, here we go. Let's let it rip, Alex. Here we go. The first kiss of the night. Take it easy, Alex. Dinner's later. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. and Mrs. Alex. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may have noticed that they've actually went around and served you some champagne and cider, so hopefully you haven't drank it yet because that is for the toast.
closer, well, closer even. Can you, can you stand up next to her? Oh, there's a truck there. She's kicking me. Thank you. Hello. On behalf of our family, I'd like to welcome all of you today to today's wedding. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Karina, and I'm Veronica's niece, but more importantly, we are the sisters. First off, I want to say, Veronica, you look absolutely stunning today. <laughs> and Alex, you don't have that yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me I am so honored to be here standing by your side. Having Veronica in my life has been one of the greatest things I've experienced. Even though Veronica is my mom's baby sister, I was only... And, sorry. <laughs> I was an only child for almost 11 years, and there was Veronica to fill in that special spot as my little sister. Having a little sister is even better because it meant I was the boss. I say this because during our many fights, like most sisters have during their lives, Bevan would always say to me, you always win because you're older. <laughs> Veronica and I have always been very close. I can remember as kids, we shared everything, toys, clothes, and even friends. We were always dressed exactly the same. Even our hairstyle had to be the same. If one of us changed our look, the other had to follow. She's such a beautiful person inside and out. Veronica is the most caring, loving, and loyal person I know. She is feisty and has an amazing ability to speak her mind. I am sure Alex would agree with me. <laughs> she has such a kind and welcoming heart. We have always been there for each other through thick and thin, and I couldn't ask for a better sister to have in my life. I remember the first time I met Alex. Veronica invited him to my cousin's going away party to join the army. Alex had to be at work that night, and the party was in Riverside County. Veronica deeply expressed to him how important it was for her, for him to be there, even if only for a few minutes. Well, Alex made it. I have never seen Veronica's eyes lit up like that before. From that moment, I knew he was the one. I do have to say, to this day though, I am very surprised that they met online. Because if anyone knows Alex, he is very shy. <laughs> But that's how you know that it was destined for them to cross paths. From day one, he has made Veronica the happiest I have ever seen her. Alex, I would like to officially welcome you into I would official, like to officially welcome you into our family. I can assure you that you have my sorry, my grandfather's stamp of approval. If everyone Please join me in raising a glass to Alex and Veronica. Here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. God bless you both. I love you. Yes. <laughs> Hermana, 
yo sé que durante nuestra niñez no fuimos muy apegadas. Tú siempre dijiste que yo no te quería porque me habías quitado el lugar de la baby en la familia. Pero en realidad a mí me daba igual. <risa> Aunque tengo que confesar que te consideraba medio enfado, sí. <risa> Al pasar de los años siempre pensé que mis papás te habían consentido de más. Pero cuando creciste, te convertiste en una persona linda, generosa y real. Finalmente, me dio mucho gusto que nunca te regresamos con el cartero. La vida nos unió con risas, pero también con muchas lágrimas. Pero el resultado fue que nos hicimos grandes amigas. Alex. Alex, te llevas un tesoro muy valioso. Espero que lo aprecies siempre. Pero tú has encontrado tu mitad. Un buen hombre que te complementa y que realmente ha balanceado tu mundo. Gracias, Alex, por motivar tanto a Verónica. Creo que formaste parte de nuestra familia desde hace mucho tiempo, pero hoy es oficial y yo me gano un hermano más. Ok, a los dos de todo corazón les deseo que Dios les brinde fortaleza para los momentos difíciles y mucha dicha y bendiciones para los momentos buenos. Todos levantemos nuestras copas y brindemos por ellos. Salud. Okay, so on behalf of uh, the groom and the bride, I want to say thank you for everyone for being here. It is truly an honor to see uh, such a beautiful couple. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, look how many beautiful people are here to support you guys. It is truly amazing to see uh, how much support you guys get. And all the beautiful people here, ladies, I want to hear you say, ow. <laughs> I don't know if there's that many ladies here. <laughs> Men, let me hear you say woo, woo, woo. There you go. Ladies, over time. Ah. It worked better when I was in the mirror. Married people, let me hear you clap. Single people, let me hear you clap. It looks like the single people are having a little bit more fun. <laughs> no, but it's so awesome to see Mexican and Salvadoran people together. I didn't think that happened. I only saw that on Fox News. <laughs> but, man, it's awesome to see so many Mexican people here and Salvadorans. I mean, I could smell carne and salam pupusas from a mile away. <laughs> um, so, yeah, to the groom. Um, a lot of you know him as Alex, but to the Orange County Sheriff Department, they know him Caesar Alexander Barada, number 467392. <laughs> but to the guys in the pen, they just call him Little C's, and it's not because of his height. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. <laughs> I personally know him as, as Caesar. A little background. Uh, on, on Caesar, he's my uh, my cousin, my bigger cousin. 
Uh, and he came here from El Salvador in 1990. My mother adopted him and raised him. She even gave him his name. Yeah. He actually came here with coyotes. I mean, white people, he did not come crossing the border with an animal. <laughs> Veronica, uh, I hate to bring this up to you, but thank you, thank you for marrying him. Because I don't know if you guys heard in the news lately, but uh, President Obama just passed some immigration law, and they were about to deport him. So thank you, Veronica, for marrying him. I'm just kidding. The real reason why uh, he's marrying her is because She's amazing, beautiful, you're focused. It was just so hard to get Caesar to, to talk to more, and you're truly an amazing person. You help him out so much, and he's like, he was a big brother, now he's a little brother, and you are <laughs> his other half, and it's truly a blessing to, to be here. It's also known as P.O.F. I don't know if it, the F really means fish. I think P.O.F. really means play of freaks. <laughs> Uh, case in point, uh, I looked up their screen names, and Caesar's screen name was actually Poker Face. <laughs> Let me say it slower. Poke. Her. Face. <laughs> and Veronica's name was uh, Tustin Hot Babe 69. <laughs> And you never know how it is with uh, online dating sites. I mean, people put up uh, pictures from like 10 years ago. Uh, they Photoshop their pictures, they have this angle, they're in the bathroom, and it gets a little weird. Um, but I went through Caesar's phone last night, and I wanted to look up what his profile said. Uh, it said, um, five foot 10, long curly hair, and very social. <laughs> Five foot ten, long curly, no, very social, yes. Now, a lot of you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but Veronica loves social media. Uh, she's really on Facebook 24-7. And I actually looked up her timeline to see uh, when they met, so I had to go pretty far back. I'm going to say it like how she would say it, okay? December 12th, I mean December 10th, 2012, a guy from POF asked me to date uh, on a date tomorrow to go to Starbucks. Because that's where people usually go. They're not sure if they like the date or not. Uh, but I don't know. His name is Poker Face. <laughs> December 11th, 2012, the next day. I found the love of my life, but he doesn't look like his profile picture. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> Uh, December 15th, 2012, one of my first official dates, Starbucks doesn't count guys, um, he was a gentleman, he opened my door, and he paid for the dinner. Hashtag, no scrub, hashtag winning. <laughs> January 5th, 2013, he asked to be my girlfriend. Ladies, this is when you go, Aww. Uh, that day, Veronica changed her status to single in a relationship, and she lost 20 friends on Facebook that day. <laughs> December 25th, 2013, he got on one knee, and I said, yes! Oh. Hashtag, yeah. yeah! Hashtag, I told you, Mom, I wasn't going to be single forever. <laughs> Okay, so this next post, I, I'm thinking that this is what they're going to be saying tonight. So, bear with me. <laughs> so, November 22nd, 2014, around 11.30 tonight. Uh, it lasted about two minutes. <laughs> and now he's asleep, hashtag fail. <laughs> 
on a serious note, guys, uh, Caesar, I love you like, like a brother. I love you so much. And I saw this quote. I think I saw it on Wikipedia. I can't be honest with you where I found it, but it was a good quote. All right, glasses up, please. Veronica and Caesar, to the whole world, you are one person. But to one person, may you guys be the world. <laughs> Cheers. Let's get a big round of applause for Caesar the best.